Climate change means everything to me because I have to adapt to the changes itself by hunting further. The food tastes different. It is probably the greatest challenge that humanity has faced. What climate change really means for people and for species is how much are we going to lose in the 21st century. What's going to be left when I'm gone and we're all gone and our children are here? Time is running out, the window's closing, people have to get it and they have to do something. It will affect all aspects of our life. I used to think climate change is something that is going to affect the world in the distant future. It wasn't something that affected me personally and hey, if the world was going to be a little bit warmer, I like warm temperatures. I thought, you know, that doesn't sound so serious. If I think about it, the outlook seems very bleak. Because we do not respect a lot of this climate issues, we're seeing the, the results now, we're seeing the aftermath. Now I understand the issues and I understand it's going to have a huge impact on our lives today. It isn't a future thing, it's a right now thing. I think climate change affects us in our daily lives, even today. One example is that I used to go skiing for Thanksgiving every year, and I can't do that anymore. The snow is gone. Since 2004, uh, the Amazon region is it's facing uh, huge uh, events. This is changing uh, dramatically the, the type of, of fishing. Uh, sometimes uh, fishermen is, is waiting for the migrations of the fishers, and the fishers won't come. Many of the special places that I knew as a child were were freshwater places, a creek behind my house and, and salt marshes um, when I would visit my grandmother. And, uh, and, and I really care about these places. These are, these are places that I've seen really decline as I've grown older. We have uh, less ice packs, so our walruses have less um, pupping areas and the whales of beluga are going further out and they're not coming in as close anymore so that means we have to buy more gas. We, we change. There is migration more and more towards the coast and um, in doing so they, we are clearing mangrove forests, for instance reclaiming sea dead, mining more and more. We are destroying our coastlines, we are building right against the, uh, uh, on the border of, the, of the, uh, the coastline and we just don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. In the Virgin Islands in 2005 for example we had a summer of extremely high sea surface temperatures. As a result, we lost 60% of our coral reefs. Just look at the beach. In our lifetime, it's moved from 160 feet to 16 feet. I mean, you can't, uh, you know, you don't need to get hit in the head with a brick to, to see that there's something majorly, you know, happening here. I think in the UK, it's an, it's an issue that's really grown in public attention in the last year. The politics is shifting, the business is shifting, the media is shifting. But what they're struggling with is how they can shift their own lifestyles. Climate change is real and it's happening now. The most important thing on a personal level I would say is to take responsibility and to act to reduce your carbon footprint. It's not that scary. There are online tools to do it. You can do it very, very easily. Individual action can add up to a lot of, a lot of good. You've actually got to change the way that you uh, do things. And identify five things that you can do in your daily life to actually bring that down. And that doesn't mean you have a worse life. Go to work one day a week without a car. Incorporate environmental responsibility into your business decisions. No, no email day. If it's at work, if it's at home, turn off your lights, turn off your equipment. Simple things. I would encourage everyone to talk to someone about it and to live simply. Try to become proactive as much as possible. Become informed to understand what the issue is. What's going on? What does it mean? What are the implications? Respecting the earth, respecting the air, respecting the water, treating it with clear and clean conscience. Stop destroying the nature and stop destroying what's left of the nature. I think one of the biggest barriers is government. America needs to step up as a global leader and that's going to take new political leadership. Make your opinion heard and make it an issue for our legislature 
um, for our leaders. Influence the decision makers who are not making the appropriate choices. We need to get the political will to actually do what needs to be done. We need to set a cap on CO2 and we need to stabilize what's in the atmosphere. We've basically got to be looking at a high degree of domestic and international policy action with strong regulatory frameworks so that we actually start to get emissions down. Because if we don't stop the cause of climate change, it doesn't matter what all of these people who are here right now trying to prepare for the effects of it do because it'll be out of control. I regularly talk with people that don't know very much at all. It's the younger generation that's going to inherit the problem, so they should be taking the lead. And I say, do you care about your kids? To get them interested, to open their eyes, to show them you know, what's happening and what can be done. And whether or not they really are going to think well of you and what you did in 20 or 50 years. This is a global crisis that requires that we take genuine action today. It's scary, but you can do something. And doing something is better than doing nothing. I'm pretty sure it'd be black. It would be black. It would be a dark color, which is a little scary right now. Gray at the moment. Dark gray. Because it's a fog of uncertainty. But I'd hope it to be also a color that would morph into more light. Blue light the sky, and yellow light the sun, and red light the flowers. God, I'm such a geeky scientist that I start going into things like, it should be white because that's all colors and it affects all things. <laughs> Green, of course. Red, it's a warning. Red. Red. <laughs> red, of course. I guess it's blue. Ooh, infrared. Burn orange? Puce. What color is puce? It's 